here, or do you think? Like, come on, just just drop for me, please. <laughs> Pretty please, with sugar on top. Just once. Just once. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? I, I'm, I was proud of the guys the way they battled in the second half to get us uh, to get us back, so that we're one possession away from from tying the game. Um, you know. Did a lot of good things. Did a lot of good things. Obviously, some other things that we got to clean up. We got to continue to clean up. But I'm, I'm proud of them. Told them that. Proud of them. So came up just short. Now to do uh, under 30 percent field goal for uh, for the game. Um, is it just a matter of getting more shots, creating more shots? Just yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of it is uh, you know continuing to take care of the uh, take care of the ball, and we we gave them too many. Offensive rebounds, you know. Gary Clark is a kid that's uh, in conference, averaging about five offensive rebounds a game, and we knew that going in, and we, we talked about it. And uh, his second and third effort uh, against our guys, you can't box him out. You have to drive him out because he doesn't accept the first initial box out. And you know, he gave him seven more opportunities than than. Uh, there's more opportunities that we could have had for ourselves, and you know we take we take pride in wanting to rebound the ball the way we have been. Uh, but you got to give them credit; they're big, they're physical as well, and uh, I think we could have done a better job there. Inspired deep defensive effort aside from that, is there no reason y'all can't do that every night? No, not at all. That's one of the things that we we, um, we got to continue to to do. Um, I think we've, we've done a, a good job the last few games defensively, and our live ball turnovers um, had led for the opposing teams to score against our transition defense and not our set defense. So those numbers get skewed, so they're shooting 42, 43, 41. Um, our goal is to try to hold teams under 40%, and if you can hold the team under 30%, you would hope that that means a win, but unfortunately tonight it didn't. I mean, we all know you know, Jamal's being asked to do a lot, and you're, you're a thin at guard. Do you think these things just catch up to you at the end of the game? I mean, you're in position, and you, maybe you just didn't get the shot you wanted, or you had to turn No, no, we, I mean, that, I thought that for a freshman, um, to make the right play at the end of a game, when he's the one guy on the team that, uh, that I would allow to take a crazy shot, or, or a hero shot, and he didn't. He read, guy was open, Nate was open, and he made the right play. We talked about uh, in practice, don't be the hero, just make the right play. Consistently make the right play. If we can do that over the course of a game, we'll put ourselves in a position to win. And he read, the guy was open, he made the right play. Shot didn't fall. You know, before that we go, a uh, couple turnovers, trying to make a play, getting double teamed, triple teamed. Uh, Chris makes the, makes a pass to Jaleel. Nay dribbles the ball out of bounds on an out of bounds play when he could have gotten something. We just get the ball on the rim and give ourselves an opportunity then. So I was proud of Jamal, needless to say, that he made the correct play and I told him so. You had back to back floaters from Jamal and uh, Chris to end the half to, to go up or to go up one before the half. What was the mindset going into halftime? You guys were right there. Well, it was to, to continue the same defensive effort that we had. Um, you know, we just had to take care of the ball a lot better. Uh, we, I thought starting the second half, we didn't. We, uh, we stopped coming to meet the passes, and they got some easy opportunities off of that. Bo looked like he came up a little bit lame up late in the second half there. It looked like he had a little bit of ankle. Uh, he was on that. Ruben came back in the second half and played a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah. Any news on Ruben? Uh, no, I think both of them are fine. Okay. Um, we'll get, get up, updated here when, uh, when I get back to the office. Is this, is this the type of game you, you'd like to see? I mean, obviously, cut the turnovers out. I mean, but is this more of a prescription to how you, how you can win with what you've got at this point? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's how we have to play. Um, I love to play in the 90s. You have the bodies to do that. We don't. So uh, we have to defend. We have to scrap. We have to make it ugly at times. Uh, we have to rebound. And we got to be uh, more decisive as to where our shots are, are and opportunities are coming from. I think you held Cincinnati like 20 points below their average and held them to 30. I mean, that, that, that drives you crazy, right? When you have those numbers and don't win. You said it right on my <laughs> <Yeah>. note. <laughs> yes. Quote, unquote. Yeah. <laughs>
Captain Obvious, right? Yeah. Captain no. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's what you that's what you shoot for. Uh, you know, could we've gotten to the free throw line a little bit better? Absolutely. Could we've had a few more assists? Absolutely. Uh, and then again, you know, could you have rebounded them? We could have. A lot of positives, a lot of things that we did well. So we got to build on that. We have a quick turnaround before we have to worry about another team coming in here on Tuesday. Anything else? All right. Thanks. Good. Thanks. 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 Thanks.